In this video, we are going to take a look at different kinds of binary trees. So the first is a full binary tree. It is also referred to as a proper or a strict binary tree. So as we know that in a binary tree, every node can have 0, 1 or 2 children. But in a full binary tree, any node can have either 0 children. So if it has 0 children, it will be a leaf node or it can have 2 children and those would be the internal nodes. And you will always see that in a full binary tree, the number of leaf nodes will be equal to the number of internal nodes plus 1. So let's take an example of this binary tree over here. We have this root node. It has 2 children. 2 and 3. This node 2 again has 2 children. Node 4 has 2 children. 8 and 9, they don't have any children. So these are leaf nodes. Node 5, again it has 2 children and 10 and 11, they do not have any children. So they are again leaf nodes. Node 3, it has 2 children. Node 6 has two children and node 7 does not have any children. So each node in this binary tree is having either 0 or 2 children. So this is a full binary tree. Let's take an example of this. Root node is having 2 children. This node 2, it's having 2 children again and the leaf nodes are not having any children. So this is again a full binary tree. Again, root node having two children, node two having two children, node five having two children, node three having two children. So again, it is a full binary tree. Leaf nodes are not having any children. So either zero or two children. Node one having two children, two and three. Node two is having only one child. Node 3 is having two children. So this node over here is having only one child. So this is not a full or a proper binary tree. Also you can see that the number of leaf nodes is equal to the number of internal nodes plus 1. Let's take an example over here. Which are the leaf nodes? 4, 8, 9, 6 and 7. So there are 5 leaf nodes. And how many internal nodes? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 internal nodes and 5 leaf nodes. So this is satisfied. So you can check this with any other full or binary tree. What will be the maximum number of nodes in a full or binary tree? And what will be the minimum number of nodes? So as we have discussed this in an earlier video that any binary tree a maximum number of nodes is 2 to the power of h plus 1 minus 1 if the height of the tree is h. So this is true for all types of binary trees and for the full binary tree also the maximum number of nodes will be this because any level i can have a maximum of 2 to the power of i nodes and when we sum this up for all the levels for that particular height the maximum number of nodes will remain the same. You can see my earlier videos to see how this n max was computed. How to compute the minimum number of nodes? So uh, if the height of the tree was 0, that means there was only the root node. So how many minimum number of nodes are there? 1. If the height of tree is 1, that means we are going one level down, but any node, according to definition, any node can have either 0 or 2 children. That means this node cannot have one child. It needs to have 2 children. So in this case, the number of nodes would be 3. At level 2, again, if we are going one level down, so again, this needs to have two children, either this way or 
we can also have it this way. This also will give us a height of 2. So what will be the total number of nodes? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 number of nodes. If level is 3, so then we go still further down and now the number of nodes would be 7. So it could be done this way or it could be done this way or any other way where we are going one level down. So if you see the pattern that is emerging, we see that the number of minimum number of nodes if the height is h is 2h plus 1. So if height is 1, 2h plus 1 would give us 3. If height is 2, 2h plus 1 will give us 5 and so on. Next we have the complete binary tree. The complete binary tree will satisfy two properties. The first property is that every level except the last level it has to be completely filled and the last level may be completely filled or not be completely filled. And second property is that all nodes appear as far left as possible. So this is for the last level when it is not completely filled. So whatever nodes are there, they are as far left as possible. So let's look at this example. We have this node over here and this is level 0. Maximum number of nodes can be 1. So it is full level 1. Number of nodes can be 2. So it is full level 3. Maximum number of nodes can be 4. So it is full and level 4 which is the last level. So it, this level L4 is not completely full. But all the nodes are as far less left as possible. So this we can say is a complete binary tree. Let, let us take an example of this one. Is this a complete binary tree? This level 0 is full. Level 1 is also full. Level 2 is also full, level 3 is not full and this is the last level but the node that is that we are having is towards the left. So this again is a complete binary tree. Next example again level 0 is full, level 1 is full, level 2 is incomplete, it is not full but again all the nodes are all towards the left. Let's take a look at this this tree over here. If we see level 0 is full, level 1 is also full. What about level 2? So level 2 it is incomplete so that is not a problem but the nodes are not towards the left. So had a node been here then this would have been a complete tree, complete binary tree. Right now we see that these nodes all the left portions are not complete. So we cannot say that this is a complete binary tree. Another example if we take, so if we take an example like this, is this a complete binary tree? No, again because the left nodes over here, they are not complete. This would give us a binary, complete binary tree. Is this a binary tree? Complete binary tree? No, again this is not a complete binary tree because the left nodes are missing over here. So this is not towards as left as possible. So this is also not a complete binary tree. Now when we add this node over here, then it would be a complete binary tree. So again the maximum number of nodes remains the same. 2 to the power of h plus 1 minus 1 because each level again can have a maximum of uh, 2 to the power of i uh, nodes. What will be the minimum number of nodes? So let's see. The definition of a complete binary tree that all levels have to be full except the last level and the last level all nodes have to be towards the left. So if h is 0 that means we are just having the root node and the minimum number of nodes need, it will be 1. If height is 1, so this, is, this will be the case. So this is level 0 and this is level 1 
and we can see that the topmost level is full completely full and the last level it is it can be incomplete and all nodes are towards the left so number of nodes is 2 if we go for height 2 that means we are going one level down but if we are going one level down all the above levels need to be full so this can be the case this will be the minimum number of nodes all above levels they have to be complete so the, the minimum number of nodes would be 1 2 3 and 4 if height is 3 then again all we, we are going one level down but now L2 has to be complete so we will have one node over here and two more nodes over here also so the total number of nodes now would be 8 and you can still go on and check so you can see that the pattern that is emerging now is if height is h the minimum number of nodes would be 2 to the power of h the perfect binary tree is that tree binary tree where all the levels are completely full so all internal nodes will have two children but this, this is important that all leaf, leaf nodes they need to be at the same level. Also in this case also just like we had for the full binary tree the number of leaf nodes will be equal to the number of internal nodes plus 1. So is this a binary tree? Yes. Level 0 is completely full. Level 1 is completely full. Level 2 is completely full. Level 3 is completely full and all the leaf nodes they are at the same level let's take a look at this one level 0 is completely full level 1 is completely full level 2 is also completely full and all leaf nodes are at the same level let's take a look at this one level 0 is full level 1 is complete level, level 2 is also complete level 3 this is having two nodes, node 4. So one is that this level is not complete. The other thing is the leaf nodes are also not at the same level. So this is not a perfect binary tree. What is a balanced binary tree? A balanced binary tree is where each node, the difference between the height of its left subtree and the height of its right subtree is less than or equal to k and k is usually 1. So let's look at this tree over here. So if we take this node 2, its left subtree is empty and we know that for an empty subtree the height is minus 1. So minus 1 and minus the height of right subtree. The right subtree is also empty. So again its height is also minus 1. This will give us 0. For node 4, again, there are empty left subtrees and right subtrees. So, the difference would be 0. For node 5, again, left subtree is also empty, right subtree is also empty. So, both their heights are minus 1 and so their difference is 0. Now, let's come to node 3. For node 3, the left subtree is this, consisting of one node, which is 4. So, its height would be 0 and one node, 5 so this this height is also 0 so 0 minus 0 is going to give us 0 now let's come to node 1 node 1 left subtree is this and right subtree is this so what is the height of the left subtree 0 and what is the height of right subtree it's 1 so 0 minus 1 and we take the absolute value of that that gives us 1. Now we take a look at this tree. This is a leaf node empty left tree and empty right subtree. So the difference would be 0 because minus 1 minus minus 1 this will give us 0. Again this node will also have a value 0. So all leaf nodes will have a value 0. Now let's take a look at node 5. 
this is the left subtree this is the right subtree height of left subtree is 0 height of right subtree is also 0 so 0 minus 0 gives us 0 node 3 this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree for left subtree the height is 1 for the right subtree the height is 0 so 1 minus 0 is going to give us 1 for node 2 left subtree it is empty so it is minus 1 for right subtree this is the right subtree its height is 0 so minus 1 minus 0 take the absolute value we get 1 for this root node now what is the left subtree and what is the right subtree so this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree for the left subtree we see that the height is 1 and for the right subtree we see that the height is 2 so 1 minus 2 and take the absolute value it gives us 1 so we see that in in this tree a all nodes the difference in the height of their left subtree is either 0 or 1 which is less than k and if we are assuming that k is equal to 1 in this tree b also for each node the difference in the height of their left subtree or the right subtree is also less than or equal to 1. So this is also balanced and this is also balanced. Now let us take a look at tree C and I will bring your attention to this node over here. For the rest of the nodes you can figure out the way we did for all the other trees. Let us talk about node 2. Its left subtree is empty. That means its height is minus 1 and its right subtree is having a height 1. So this is minus 1 minus 1 and then you take the absolute value of this. So this becomes 2. As you can see this node for this node over here the difference of the height of the left subtree and the height of right subtree is 2. And this is greater than the value of k which we are taking as 1. So this tree is not a balanced tree. We have one more term which is the degenerate binary tree. And in this binary tree every internal node has one child only. The leaf nodes we know they will have no child. But the internal node will have only one left child. So if we have this root node then one child one child and one child and as you can see that each node is having one left child there are no right children for any node so this we say is a degenerate binary tree but it is left skewed as well take an example of this where the root node is having right child and this one is also having one child which is towards the right and again one child which is towards the right so each node is having one child that is correct and since each is having a right child there are no left children this is a right skewed degenerate tree. What about this one root node then one child then one child then one child again this is a degenerate binary tree. Will this be a binary degenerate binary tree no this is not a degenerate binary tree because now here the root node is having two children. So in a degenerate binary tree each internal node will have only one child. 